now. Sounds like we're live now. Okay. You want you want to head outside and see what Todd's up to? You go first. You want me to go first? <laughs> yeah. All right, Dave. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. As always, it's Monday morning here at Marathon. It's actually misting here at the world headquarters. And uh, we're going to take a tour of Coach 1185. We're going to get right into it. Uh, but for today's purposes, had to bring the co-host in, uh, so Dave Bash is with us. Dave, you want to head on out here? Hope you can hear me. Nobody Dave. needs me yeah, there. Yeah, here he comes. So, brought Dave along with me today to tour Coach 1185. This is a pre-owned coach, uh, 2008, right Dave? I believe. Yeah, it's 10 year old coach. This is a great example of a 10 year old coach it's got 70,000 miles, so the Prevo chassis is just broken in. And the owners of this coach, this is a consignment with Marathon. The owners of this coach were meticulous like many of our Marathon owners. So this coach is in great condition and it's for sale. So if you have any questions about it, malw at marathoncoach.com or contact your Marathon salesman uh, if you already have one because this is a great deal on a great coach. Triple slide H. Let's take a look. All right, Dave, so here we got storage first. Very typical, the H uh, body. Yep. Great storage, got a slide out in the second bay. And there's an ottoman, if you can see back there, Todd, there is an ottoman uh, so that when you have your slides out, um, you can add to your uh, salon or your living space. Custom place to put your entry mats. Yeah, that's nice. I like the slide out. Yeah. We got the generator running and uh, you can hear how quiet it is. I'm gonna open that bay so you can actually see that it's running. Look how clean that is, that's very nice. Now you can hear how quiet it is when I close that properly insulated door. Entertainment bay. The cabinetry matches the inside of the coach. Yeah. I like that. And then um, one side of the plumbing bay. So let's head on inside so we can uh, get right to it. So beautiful uh, colors outside. Good, um, good colors that'll hold up for a long time. <clears throat> yeah. It, it was funny because this came in with a matching trailer. That's right. We've sold the trailer. Now we just got the coach left. So if so. you saw it on our website, you guys, uh, you saw that originally it had a matching trailer. So we sold the trailer separate and uh, Coach 1185 is for sale. Brilliant. And um, I'm excited to show you the triple slide because there's a lot of room in this salon. Let's go in. Let's shut these. One thing Dave likes uh, to train us to do when we're, when we're showing a coach, is to put it back the way you found it. All right. Well, I got the rig here, everybody. We're gonna step right up into the salon. Hope everyone had a good weekend, I know <clears throat> I did. Wherever you are, if you're out at, uh, if you're out in your RV or your marathon and you're at a park hope you uh, had a good weekend and got a little bit of fall weather going on here at uh, at Marathon in Coburg so here we are in the salon and as you can see there's a ton of room this is a great floor plan a uh, beautiful cockpit we'll show that first everybody can say hi to Mickey Mickey's with us so if you have your questions or you just want to let us know where you're watching from uh, let us know where you're watching from. The leather in this cockpit is a great color. T 
TV above the cockpit. We'll just drop that down. So what we're gonna do, I think, is because a lot of you like to see the slides come in, something I mentioned to Mickey this morning. We're gonna quickly show you the coach, and if you have any further questions or, or wanna see further details on it, if you're interested, you can contact me on that. But we're gonna pull in the slides and drive around the building because a lot of you wanna see when the slides are in, the drivability of the Prevo chassis of a Marathon coach. So sleeper sofa over here, it's a jackknife sofa, storage behind it. Uh, I, I really like this dinette uh, on the curbside. Uh, Dave, you have spent significant time with this coach and I know that it's in very good condition. Mm -hmm. uh, the owners uh, really took care of it. Yes, they did. It's very nice. Good storage above and under. That's one thing you're gonna hear from me throughout this quick tour is there's a lot of storage. When we get back into the bedroom, you're gonna see that. Uh, Dave, this is kind of a split galley here. Yeah, you've got the cooking station, the microwave, and the cooktop here uh, with a whole bunch of storage underneath. Yeah, this is with nice. These pull-out drawers. Todd, Todd, take a look at this. So you've got these pull-outs that help you to get in and out to be they're, able to store stuff. They're very deep. Tim Horton's coffee, I like it. A lot but, of storage in this area, yeah. plus you got the dishwasher over there under the sink. Residential size refrigerator. Look at that. Fit a whole lot of Mickey waffles in there. Obviously I have a, a young one. Mickey waffles. Okay. What, what do you think, Dave? Never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> so in the salon, there's carpet. Um, and then as you see, it goes to this tile in the midship of the coach uh, to the water closet. And let's just come right in here and take a look at this. One thing I like about this setup, Dave, is you've got a sink out here and you've got a sink in the actual water closet. It works pretty nice. Really nice colors, good backsplash. Matches all the way throughout. Good sized shower. Looks like we're doing some cleaning in there. All right. Washer dryer right here behind this door and then into the bedroom. Look at all the storage down here, Todd. Show them this, this is pretty cool. There is literally drawers on this entire side. Three, four, so looks like 15 drawers over here. TV is cabineted in, that's nice. You've got a closet back here with storage on this side, audio visual here. And there are two closets. Dave, why don't you show them that closet? There are two of these. With a whole bunch of extra pillows. <laughs> That's right. So you've got, you've got matching closets on each side. Plus, there you go. Lots of good storage. What would you put up here? I like shoes. You know, shoes could go up here. I'll if I had this coach, whatever I want. But, you know. Bed, extra bedding or yeah, towels that's true. or you know whatever. Different people are different. That's true. All right, and also this is kind of nifty. It's got a little stool here that you can pull out and the storage uh, on it. Storage inside. You can sit there while you're getting dressed. Just gives you added space. So let's uh, pull these slides in, okay? So that we can uh, show everybody how much room you still can achieve. Well, instead of opening the door, I'm gonna open a window. Okay. Oh, fine. I'm gonna open the other window. <laughs> While you do that, I'm gonna eat a fake orange. Part of the decor. I wanna see you do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, hope you guys had a good weekend. Mickey, where we got people watching from?
Lafayette, Kentucky, Las Vegas, New York, and Toronto. I bet I know who that is down in Las Vegas. I bet you might. Reggie, how are you, my man? Good to hear from you. Hope everything's going well down there. And then Greg said, Greg Burton said, Don and Butch are loving their new trailer and have had it painted to match their coat. There you go. So if you guys are down in Texas, Greg Burton is, is on watching with us right now. Um, if you are anywhere in the south, that's a, that's a really good place to go. Go down and see Greg. Greg uh, actually sold the trailer uh, that we talked about that matched this. Oh, yeah. We're going to pull this slide in. You can stay there if you want. <laughs> Take a look at that, Todd, where it's showing the, the Palm Coast, Florida. Nice. So as you see for the curbside, <clears throat> the floor drops, and then the slide's going to come right over the top of that. What that is doing is that's eliminating any type of step up or any type of um, lip that would have been there previously. I really like the design where the wall, the uh, floor actually drops. I've had several emails lately about people wanting to see the slides in versus the slides out. And so I thought that was a, a good thing we could do this morning. So there it is. So you can move that back if you would move please. Move this chair back in. I'll do the rear one next. Let's head on back to the bedroom and we'll pull that slide in. Any other questions? If you guys have any questions for Dave, um, this would be a good time to ask it, I think. Frank said that we need to send Dave to this meeting because he's never heard of Mickey Waffles. Yes. Frank talking about Mickey Waffles. All my kids are older and they're all grown, so. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I mean, oh, I Mickey got Mouse, in Mickey Mouse waffles. Uh, you're never too old for Mickey waffles. Well, my, I didn't my know. My wife loves the Mickey waffles. It's a good option. You can get it with fruit or without fruit. You can get. I mean, it's a Belgian waffle in the face of Mickey, or in Mickey's face. Sorry, I didn't get it. Come on, Dave. <laughs> All right. So the only question that we have at this point is um, something we'll need to follow up on is because for some reason. You want to come past me? Okay, so Andrew, I'll tell you what, when we, uh, when we get done, I'll take a look It'll at your question and now. we'll make sure we, uh, we get that answer back to you. And then Tim did ask if the, the carpet needs to be replaced, how big of a job is that? And I know that's one of our specialties. It's one, of the, one of the easiest things we do in the coach when, of, when remodeling the coach. Carpet replacement is pretty easy, especially on an H because the whole floor back here is flat. So there you go, you just heard from Dave, uh, and Dave being one of our <clears> most experienced service department representatives. Uh, it's one of the most common things we do is replacing floor. Yep. Whether it be carpet to hardwoods, or carpet to tile, or tile to hardwoods, or vice versa, everything to carpet, if you prefer all carpet. It's definitely something we do, we do it all week long in our service department. You're seeing a lot of, uh, and also Texas, uh, and Florida have those capabilities, don't they, Dave? Oh, yeah. So if you're down in Florida, go see those guys down there. If you're in Texas, we mentioned Greg Burton earlier. Go down and see Greg. Greg will get you uh, set up with the right guys. Uh, I believe it's Gary out there in Texas. Is it Gary, Gary in Texas? Gary is in Texas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Todd, go see Greg. You might want to step and, back uh, here because that slide's, no, He'll be able here. to show you some options that slide's on coming in. getting your coach uh Mickey's going to get a cheap ride. There we go. It's not going to quite match the e-ticket at Disney, but... That's right. See, an e-ticket. Now, you know that term, which hasn't been I've used been to for, Disneyland, for but years. I just didn't know Mickey Waffles. Rodney says you're never too old for Disney World, so <laughs> I think it's time for another visit. I would love to go to Disney Oh, World. this would be a good time to show my socks. I know there's a lot of people that hate oh, when I show no. my socks. Yep. I love seeing socks. I got the Star Trek uh, red socks, so I went with my Scotties today. But you know what always happened to the guy wearing the red shirt? The red shirts never made it back to the ship. <laughs> I have a video of myself dying in a red shirt from the Seattle Science Center. Oh, EMP. EMP. Yes. Experience Music Project. 
you know what that is? It's now Mopop. Mo- okay, okay. When I was killed there, it was EMP. You were, you were killed wearing a red shirt? Yes, I For those Star Trek fans out there. But yeah, uh, now you can see the slides are in. You can see that it still has. One thing that also helps is that there is a uh, motored in and out um, dinette table. So you can have it further out. You can also, this thing pivot so you can get in and out with these. But as you can see with the the two slides here in the salon, it ahead. still provides adequate room to get in and out. Uh, you can get into the refrigerator. Uh, Todd, why don't you back up a little and I'll show everybody. Why don't you back, go, you can go back into the bedroom and I'll just walk right to the, um, Take a look at this, you guys. Oh, you got the reefer lock on. Well, just trust me, you can open it. <laughs> I'm not gonna unlock it with Dave about to drive. Let's head up forward here. I will get out of your way. Okay. Ready to move? I think we're ready. You gonna get stable? I'm gonna get stable as best I can here. Okay. Ready. All right. So because we are at Marathon, I'm just gonna stand right here. We're not gonna go off of the parking lot. Uh, so we're not. We're, we're not gonna put on seat belts, but we are very uh, conscious of the fact that we're not wearing seat belts here. And one thing that Dave's turning on is the hazards. Uh, all the lights. He's got all the lights on when driving around our lot that's proper etiquette on at marathon coach so want to show the drivability of the triple slide uh, so that you could see how much room is in there also it's this. nice to see all of those coaches out there steering wheel just keeps turning you gonna do a full donut for me Look at those nice trucks over there. Look at those nice trucks. One must belong to Dave and one must belong <laughs> to Jim Cogley. <laughs> a couple of Fords. I'm a Ford guy. You are a Ford guy. I've got a couple of Jeeps. I've been, all, I've, I've been in a lot of Fords. Yeah. Well, we've got a lot of people in our campground today. Yeah, this will give you a nice little view of what's going on with uh, Camp Marathon at the uh, World Headquarters. Keep the park in the trailers. You got trailers parked out here. You got X's and H's. Is that? It is. It is. Very Spence. Nice. Okay. They've got their own uh, tag in the window. Oh, they're moving into their coach. I like the got his golf clubs out there. He's yeah. all set and ready. Saw Ken Burtis earlier. Yeah. A lot of you probably know Ken Burtis. He's, he was here today. But anyway, as you can see, uh, this has got great drivability, lots of room. Actually, there's a shell over there, an H3 shell. I think it's the Toyota. Oh, is that is that the Racing corporate? team, I okay. think. So that's the one that we showed you with that uh, door, uh, that mid door. Mm -hmm. uh, that last week? Yeah, last week on Marathon Mondays. Well, any other questions or comments, Mickey? Karen Collins wanted you to honk when you drive by. <laughs> Too late. Where is she? She's out there. Go, go back over there. Let's honk at her. Excellent. And Yes. <laughs> yeah, if you guys can't see us live, it's okay. I mean, we're, we're at lunchtime on the East Coast. Uh, we're, you know, break time. For those of you who get a break at lunch or at, in the morning um, on the West Coast. So go back and watch us on Facebook or YouTube. I think Dave's going to blow the horn here at Karen. I think she's over here. Pretty sure that's the rig over there. Some 
good looking buses out here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's let's uh let's go back over here. Service? Yeah, let's go back over by service and see uh see what coaches are over here. For those of you who like to look at all the coaches that we have here. A lot are here for service, a lot are here for uh, remodels, uh, reimaginings, if you will. Um, some very minor, some uh, really in depth. There's a couple of guys from our engineering department taking a, a break. A lot of walking around the, the building uh, on break time uh, just to get out and stretch your legs. Coaches in service. Lots of coaches in service. Have you showed 1241 yet? We have not talked about 1241. 1241 is a quad slide H. Um, it's a 2008. No, that's wrong. No, it's much newer. It's, it's like much a 2015 or 16. Yes. So we will be talking about that in the coming weeks. Um, so yeah, getting kind of a tour of the entire parking lot here, everybody. Any other com? Thank you. Yeah. Any other comments or questions? Uh, Robert wants to know if that's the standard horn. Robert yes. wants to know if that's the standard horn, and it yes. is. Dave, why don't you talk about some of the options we've done lately? We've done, you know, uh, Bernie V and Deb, they got they got a fantastic horn on 1291. They've got a, and I hope they're watching, so I'd like to say hi to them. There's a train horn that several customers have had put on their coaches lately. It's very powerful. It's a real train horn. Train horn will wake you up. Yes, it will. From any situation. Especially that one. We put all kinds of things on coaches. Have you uh, showed the new kitchen appliance center? Oh yeah, thing? the Dream Center. Yeah, you bet. That's what it's called, the Dream Center. Well, the the kitchen, yeah. Okay. The kitchen Dream Center. All right. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. It's got, it's got several names, but yes, we showed it on. Um, first time we showed it was uh, twelve eighty one. Oh. Uh, the Las Vegas show coach. Okay. Showed it on Bernie V's coach. All right. Um, very good. Yeah. And one thing we did show on uh, Bernie V's coach that uh, really I really like is the ambient intelligence where you can, with the, the command from your voice, open that appliance center and close the appliance center. Voice command. Voice command is, is a, a really cool <clears throat> thing to do. If you've got your hands full and you want to open all your blinds when you come into your coach, you can do so. We're going to play chicken. What do we got here? Customer coming in service. There you go. <clears throat> well, I think that's about it for the week. Any other questions or comments, Mickey? Ken would like to know if that was 1275 we passed. Eric Which says one? That <laughs> passed so many. And Mal, you two need to be around in about 20 years or so when he's ready to purchase. <laughs> Okay, so that's a good idea. Reginald is asking about slides. Right. Um, and we could do a whole... There's valid slides and there's Prevo slides. And we could do a whole episode on that. Reginald, good call on that. We will prepare for that. That would be a good show uh, to be able to show uh, how the slides function. Um, as far as me being here in 20 years, wow. I don't know if I will be. I, I hope to be. Yeah. Um, you'll, you'll be here. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to retire. You don't know how old I am, do you? <laughs> I actually do. You do? <laughs> okay. So right. I guess that's it. Dave, thank you so much for hanging out with us. and uh, You're welcome. Taking us on a tour of 1185. 1185, like I mentioned at the top of the show, is for sale. Great value. If you're interested in talking numbers on this guy. It's or any other coach. Or any other coach. Well said. Uh, this one has 70,000 miles, triple slide, well maintained. Uh, Dave actually did the uh, pre-delivery inspection. And this coach is in great condition. 
contact me, malw at marathoncoach.com. You know how to get a hold of me. Go back and watch our previous shows and um, really appreciate everyone watching and commenting and uh, helping, uh, helping us along. This is our 80th episode. Dave, you've been in about half of them. So as, <laughs> sorry about that. As the co-host, we appreciate your time. <laughs> any, any, what's your, what's your next trip? Have you, do you know of any trips coming up? I know you had to. Where did you go? You went somewhere this last week. Uh, Montana. That's right. Went up to Montana. Anything else coming up for you that you know about? I'll probably have to go back to Montana at some point and to Idaho. Okay. But I don't know exactly when. So. All right. All Waiting right. to hear. Gotcha. All right, everybody. Don't forget to be yourself and do good things. And have a good week. I think it's coffee time. Mickey mentioned something about caffeine earlier. Did she? Yeah. So Those drugs. I know. They'll get you. They're, they will get you. <laughs> Everybody, take care. And see you next Monday. Love you, Mickey. <laughs> we still on?